Hello everyone and welcome to episode 20. In this episode we're going to be doing some pretty awesome things including mining resources, getting our full diamond armor because as you can see I'm like basically in pajamas as opposed to full enchanted diamond armor. We're going to be starting work on our base and doing some outlines for the melon, pumpkin, and sugarcane farms. So, uh, look at our base from here. It's kind of cool. I like it. I really like that. That's probably one of my best builds. Um, definitely makes me very happy. But this is super ugly, and I know it's super ugly, and we're definitely going to be taking this down eventually. But for now, we need somewhere to like store some of our stuff. We're running into some issues where we're running out of chests, and I keep making more chests. So we're going to have to build some sort of item storage system, but I'm going to need hoppers for that. So I'm going to need to build the Iron Titan up right above here on our spawn chunk that is right there, right where we spawn. So I'll have to build the Iron Titan up in the sky just a little bit, but we're also going to need villagers. And so we're going to need to go to the nether and find some uh, blaze rods so we can either make some villagers using the potions of weakness, or we can go all the way out. Like I think it was a thousand two hundred blocks and we can bring villagers that way. I have gone over there and done some stuff and kept the villagers alive by like blocking them up in their houses and lighting everything up. But other than that, we pretty much just, I don't know what the easiest way to do is. We could build a railway 1,000 blocks and get the achievement. And this will help us for a lot of the rails using all of these rails here. Um, I haven't actually calculated how many that is. That's 640 right there. That's not even enough. That's That would get us like halfway there. Um, but yeah, so I guess we can't do that quite yet. I'm really not certain, honestly, what we should do. Is that... Oh, that's just not loaded. Okay, I was about to say, is there a hole in there? Do we have a creeper blow up? But yeah, so today I'm going to first start off by showing you what I've done. Um, we have an obscene amount of chests here. And that is because I have been doing some AFK farming using our new rod here. Let me get up here. Come on. There we go. Using our Mending Unbreaking 3 Luck of the Sea 2 Lure 2 Fishing Rod, which stays all night long because every time I fish, it heals itself all the way up because of Unbreaking 3 and Mending together is, like, seriously OP. So, yeah, that's been working super well. But there's kind of a problem. I have learned that you can get Lure 3 and Luck of the Sea 3. I totally forgot about that. So we're going to have to upgrade that eventually. That's going to take a lot of levels. And as you can see, I'm level 28 after spending many, many levels. I've spent maybe maybe not 100 levels. I've probably spent around 60 or 70 levels trying to get this armor up here, which I will show you all in just a minute. And our anvil's coming to... It's about to be broken, honestly. But we have a Mending Blast Protection 4 and an Unbreaking 3 book that we're going to be putting on our diamond chest plate here. And we have this, I named it the Deep Sea Infiltrator because it has Respiration 3, Aqua Affinity, uh, Mending and Protection 4. So that'll really help us when we go to the, what are they called? Just like the, I don't actually know what those things, the sea temples or like the ocean temple or whatever. Um, when we go in there, then we're going to have this for blast protection to help us with gas and whatnot. Diamond Leggings, which has Fire Protection 4, Unbreaking 3. I need Mending on it. I don't have another Mending book. Um, but I have these Diamond Boots, which are Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, Frostwalker 2, and Mending, which is super great. I also have the Depth Strider 3 that I'm going to put on a separate set of boots because I don't think I want Frostwalker 2 and the Depth Strider 3 because, obviously, Frostwalker just... Oops. Frostwalker just makes me have um, this... And that doesn't necessarily work so well when you're trying to get into the water. So hopefully we won't have to worry about that if we just make a second pair. But I will also have to get more mending uh, for that. So we'll have to do that a little bit later. But this doesn't have mending, but I'm going to go ahead and put it on anyway. So let's first take this book and put it on this one. That is seven levels. If we switch it, it's ten. So let's not do that. This is seven. Oh. Are you serious? Alright, well, let's go make another anvil. I needed to use it one more time. Four and one, two, three. They use so much iron. Why do they use so much iron? And they break so quickly. That's just not okay. Alright, so let's put these here. We have another anvil. Okay. 
and then put that there. And let's go ahead and put these together. 14 levels, holy cow. Mending, blast protection, four, and unbreaking, three. And we're gonna call this the, um, the nether protector, right? Yeah, that's spelled right. Um, I also have this, the dragon slayer, I named it. I kinda like these, I just like adding names to them, I don't know why. Knockback two, unbreaking three, looting three, mending and sharpness five. And then we have the nether destroyer because this will destroy all gas and blazes. So power four, well I guess blaze is the plural, but power four, infinity, mending, unbreaking three, and flame. So that's pretty great. And then over here, our mending diamond pick is gonna break soon. So I need to work on mending that um, because I haven't been able to do that. We have this diamond axe. We don't have a shovel that's really good quite yet, but we don't necessarily need one. But I do have silk touch efficiency for an unbreaking three for when we go out and do some things. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what we got from our mining resources. I mined. That's why this is almost dead and why this is used a good bit because I mined all of this. Now I have seven stacks of snowballs. I have 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 plus 12 uh, stacks of sandstone. I have four stacks of sand and two stacks plus 13 of ice. I thought that you could take ice and craft it into um, the packed ice, but you actually can't. You have to go find an ice bike biome. And that was seriously disappointing after I'd gathered all of that ice. So we're gonna have to find an ice bike biome for all of our transports, which are gonna make up the pipes in our base. So I'm gonna have to do that, and that makes me really sad because I have no idea where I'm gonna get these things or what's gonna go on from there. But, oops, well, I can't do that. There we go. I'm not sure where to put our armor. Where should we put this armor? Oh, I just wanna throw it somewhere. I don't know. There we go. All right, so put this there like this. I have spent like seven minutes of the episode just talking, so we're gonna get on to doing here in like five seconds after I sleep, I suppose. But we're going to set out our base. I'm thinking over here is going to be where we put the melon and pumpkin farms and sugarcane farms. So I want, oops. So I want sugarcane to be in the middle and the melon and pumpkin on the sides. And I'm thinking probably one here, one there, probably going to dig into that wall a little bit. And then one there. And that should be good because we're going to have our entrance here still. And those will be right there. And then we'll make it look cool. We'll be able to get on top of them and we'll have like a, an overlook area right there because we can get to it from that part right there. We can just build like a walkway up and over. And then this will get destroyed. That will stay. This might stay and it might be moved. I'm not 100% sure yet. We can make a much more efficient farm for this. I do actually have a more efficient farm for 1.9 that I have done a video on and I have posted as of I think the 9th. Yeah, Saturday the 9th, and that should be good. Um, other than that, I think I'm just gonna go make sure that we have the correct types of melon, pumpkin, and sugarcane farms that we want. I've gotten a little bit of progress done on this. I think this is what it's gonna end up looking like right here. Please excuse the dirt blocks. They're just keeping my ice from melting because I am trash and have not found an ice bike biome so I can't make any of the pack or I can't get any of the packed ice excuse me I don't I don't think I need to change anything on this I absolutely lo love it I'm pretty sure I love this this is obviously going to be a sugarcane farm I think a sugarcane farm over there and then melon and then pumpkin just like that and that should be everything. I pretty much, I really like this. So this is going to just kind of come over here and you're going to be able to see it. And we have an obstructed view. And so the next thing we are going to do is actually take down our poor, unfortunate, ugly, horrific first base thing here. Because let's be honest, that was the most disgusting thing I have built. And obviously my building has gotten so much better better so much better over the course of this season and yeah so we're just gonna destroy this and I'll come back with this all done and then I'll explain to you what I have in mind for this section of the base right so as you can see we have gotten rid of our little house shed a tear for it rest in peace everyone pay your respects in the comments below or however 
you want to say. You can say down with it, burn, obviously, because let's be honest, that was extremely hideous, and I honestly would have burned it to the ground if, you know, I didn't want to worry about anything else burning in the process. So over here, we have two little exits, so we can just walk up here. It's not really an exit yet, but you can see like a little path through here that we explored in the very beginning of this season. That is where we're going to go with this direction, and over here, we're actually going to be able to walk upwards and go back into this little place over here, right over there. And another thing I have not mentioned is my armor. As you can see, I have full enchanted armor with all of our cool things. Deep Sea Infiltrator. I like just like these names. And I know I've shown this off a little bit before, but I have gotten this one together, Mending, Blast Protection 4, and Breaking 3. Um, this one I added Mending 2 recently, and this one I made Ocean Strider. So Depth Strider 3, Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, Feather Falling 4, which I actually got everything except for the Feather Falling 4 on the just a regular enchantment of the boots uh, for like a level 30 enchantment and that was absolutely amazing and all I had to do was add feather falling to it I think it took me a little bit to make some books that were high enough for that because I got like a couple feather falling one feather falling two and I had to make a feather falling four book which was just absolutely crazy and other than that I think that's really all that you've missed now it's been a couple days and I've obviously been like planning this out, but here is pretty much the basic premise. So we're going to have like the sugar cane's gonna fall down in here, it'll go super fast on the ice, go under this half slab, or just regular slab. I originally had like signs here, but that just looked awful, and then I remembered, oh, I could just put a slab upside down and it would work just fine. So under here is water going across into another slab, and then this water starts, goes to here to the center. And then the same thing happens over here, the exact same thing, I promise. And then it comes over here and right down into the center. And let's actually test this real quick with some, just like some chicken or something. And we will watch this come all the way around. As you can see, it went super fast all the way through all of this, all the way out the end, which is exactly what we want it to do because we want everything to go to one place. And that one place is either going to be here, right here, or we're gonna make it go down one more and follow just another path just like this out here-ish. It would end probably right around here. And this will, oh, you know, it could end right in the center of this. That would be pretty cool if it did. Let's count the blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Oh, ooh, 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 if that ended right there, that'd be amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. I'm just going to do it on camera. I'm going to do it. So we have... Okay, that's not what I wanted. Nope, nope. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It would end here. And this is where it would go down. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Like, it, I don't care what any of the rest of this is. This is exactly what it's going to do. It's going to come right here. And right here is actually going to be an item elevator. So it'll push down. Oh, wait. Because uh, my item elevator needs to be centered here. So that... It's okay. We can probably just end it early with a half slab. That'll be fine. And we'll be able... Yeah, because that'll look fine. Because if we had, like, three of these layers the same size, it'd be kind of weird. So maybe if we had just, like, this one. This one's looking a little bit shorter for some reason. Probably just because we have those back blocks over here. And then this one will be a little bit shorter, so it would look kind of cool, actually, and I like that. And then we'll center up an item elevator. The item elevator will go up into what I think we're going to do is put a ring. So right, like imagine just a column going up right there, starting with on that block. So not like way back there by that tree. It's going to go up a little ways and then into a circle, I think. And then that will be where we sort everything. I'm not 100% sure yet. I could uh, like ship it over here as well and make like it go up and then over and then just sort everything in this wall. That could also be a real thing. Um, but other than that, I have one more thing to show you. I thought feather falling would save me from that. Did not. Um, we have these blocks. Now, what are these blocks? You might ask. These blocks are going to be, I think, a wall. And I've designed a wall and I will show it to you in my creative world here in just a moment. But this is the wall I kind of want. To be right back here it gives us enough room to kind of play around back here keep this tree and just build a wall because i just keep having creepers and stuff coming way too close to this nice building 
and obviously this nice building is not just a building it is our wonderful and magnificent farm and our little auto fishing farm and I don't want that blown up so yeah I will admit I have gone AFK on this way too much and right now it's empty but you see these chests I have one two three four five six seven chests I have filled it a couple times over as you can see I have all these really ugly chests just sitting here well this one is full of not all of our fish but most of it this is not sorted because this is my first haul and then overnight one night I got starting here at this raw fish all of this just one night just one and now we have all of these saddles no one needs this many saddles but I kept them anyway we have so many enchanted books which are pretty much useless this is our our bows and fishing rods and stuff, many of which have mending. Uh, here's some overflow puffer fish, and here is all of our name tags. We have 63 name tags, like what? 27 glass bottles, I drank all the water out of them. Um, tripwire hooks, leather bowls, some, some of the better enchantments that we have here. And over here, we just have our regular chest that we know before. We have all of our leather boots, which, I mean, I could have just thrown away, but I feel like we could collect them and I don't know why, but over here is all of our bows, and over here is all of our fishing rods. So as you can see, I'm going to need to link that up to this entire system as well. So I'll probably have the item elevator way down there, but not uh, I guess not too far, because we don't want the items to despawn or something strange. So while I'm AFKing, our stuff can come up and we can sort away some of these things. Maybe trash the bows and whatnot, possibly... We'll probably store them for a while, and then we can trash the ones we don't want manually. But other than that, I think that is going to be our design for today. And we have gone to about 14 minutes now, so I'm going to go ahead and work on getting our water out to here, which is a little bit more than what I wanted to do. And actually, you know what? No, I take that back. We are supposed to be going into the nether today. So I was supposed to do this little groundwork kind of get you all excited for a really awesome looking base that we're going to be building soon using some pretty cool stonework and whatnot i feel like we're going to get that going pretty well but let's actually take a peek into our little chest that's not supposed to be full so we're going to put a chest above it there we go and we're just going to dump everything in and oh that doesn't work here so let's just keep everything in order even though nothing really has an order here and we're going to throw it all in and make sure that we have our arrows because that would be crazy not to have the arrows. We're going to go ahead and take this, put another one of these, fill everything in here except for our arrows and that. Um, silk touch I want. That I'm going to want. I have no use for an axe in the nether. I might want to keep this. I'll just keep all of these. And I have some fire protection. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully... We'll be able to find a nether fortress because that is what we're looking for today. As you can see, I only have 22 cooked chicken. I have gone that direction a whole bunch. I have gone that direction just exploring all the way around. I have gone that direction and I have yet to find anything. I went like a thousand blocks in every direction and the last direction to go is about this direction and instead of just like trying to find a nice path around, I'm just going to go straight out as far as I can and hopefully not die. I really hope not die because we have all of our good resources, but hopefully we will be able to, uh, that wasn't a gas, was it? Okay. Hopefully we will be able to do this and not die because that would be horrendous, but find something. And there's a get that was definitely a gas. So this is going to take a little bit, but I will update you if I find one in that direction. Question mark. I guess I really hope so. All right, I'll be back in just a moment. All right, so I killed the ghast and ghast here all the way, 100%. Definitely gonna want that. And I've gotten over here, and I don't want to be all the way down here, but we're gonna start exploring. I built my little place over that way. That is a lot of lava. That is an obscene amount of lava. I just I like this ghast here. You know, no, no, no. We're gonna keep it in our little hot bar so we can look at it because my throw key is not going to be hit. I've specifically changed my throw key so many times to the least likely key for me to hit, and it is the T key. T for throw, kind of like that. It's nice. But where is this gas coming from? I really hope you all can hear the gas, and I hope it's not too loud, because gas are generally loud, and for me, they're not too loud. Ooh. 
Oh, that was terrifying. Did not like that. Um, I'm actually going to keep that. Um, I do not want to break my axe either. Or my pickaxe, rather. Oh, uh, that's... That's no good. Um, let's just... Oh dear. Can I get o oh I can get over this. Okay, that's 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 fine. We can we can do that. Uh get up here. Come on, come on. One of these days. I don't even know. Um, but I do want to thank you all for watching my videos because you all give me so much love and support and it's absolutely amazing. And I've started to like get a couple semi regular fans, I think, and that just is wonderful and I cannot fathom that someone would want to listen to me. And I'm sure you all are sitting here like, yeah, I don't see why I listen to you either. But, you know, that's fine. What is that? What? Oh. Everyone. Y'all. We. We found one. That's kind of glitchy. Do, wait, do they fall? I don't think so. Wow. That's a massive one, too. Honestly, I think. Oh, and some chests. Oh. Mending books. Mending books, please, please, mending. Okay, uh, how do we get to this? How do we... How do we get to this? I don't... I don't fancy falling. That would not be okay. Oh, oh, wait, nether quartz. Give me... Yes, give me the experience. Um... I know I probably just wasted so much of my pickaxe just then. And I don't want to... I don't care about the resources. Okay, so let's... This is amazing, and I, this is like the end of the episode, oh man. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do maybe a little bit of exploring, check my time, and then come right back in just a minute. Okay, in this episode, I actually planned to, oh, okay, let's not, oh, that was fancy, okay. Uh, in this episode, I actually planned to get blazes, or I guess blaze and blaze rods, let's see what's in here, whoa. Diamond horse armor, definitely 100%. Oh, I guess I could have used that that thing. Okay, this is... Oh, wow. Okay, this is slow. But I actually planned on getting some not horse armor, but some blaze rods and getting a villager by making some potions and seeing what happens there. Ooh, diamond and more diamond horse armor. That's wonderful. But I don't think I'm going to have time for that. In fact, I know I'm not going to have time for that today. So what we're going to do is just run through here quickly, hopefully quickly, and get as much stuff as we can. And this is about the end of the episode, so I will come back in just a few minutes with some of our wares and see what happens. And it's probably actually going to be 30 minutes for me, but there are... Oh, wow, more chests, but yeah. So I'll see you all in just a moment, and I will not die, I promise. I now have the achievement into the fire, no, just into fire, and this is coming along so well. Look at this, look at this, look at all these diamond horse armor things, and we're probably going to have to make a couple trips in here, but I just wanted to alert you to the fact that I now have a blaze rod. I've made it out of the nether, and here is what we got. We got four diamond horse armor, five diamonds, ten gold ingots, nine iron ingots, thirteen blaze rods, some magma cream, a whole bunch of nether wart whole bunch of useless saddles, some gold armor, so three gold horse armor, a uh, golden sword, and just anything else is just kind of random, and our little ghast here, which is super nice. But that, unfortunately, is all the time I have for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did like it. Subscribe for more. Comment below what you think I should do in some of my upcoming videos, and I'll see you all next time.